Up next, the Hammerhead. If you don't know who this dancing shark is, maybe these new clues will have some bite. The best part about this experience is being here on my own terms. And last time, I really wanted a show I could be the lively part. You came out like fire. You're an entertainer. You like having fun in front of people. But people already know that side of me. So this time, I want to show I'm so much more. I have layers. Years ago, when I first entered the public eye, I had one shot, one opportunity. I didn't want to lose myself. But I sort of did. A microphone. Stand up. He's got to be a comedian. I gave up my dream of being a lawyer. I was depressed, like I was locked in a cage. Kate, like an MMA fighter? Maybe jail? Eventually, I realized that in order to succeed, I had to embrace both parts of me, my fun-loving side and my discipline side. And this performance is a combination of both. One direction, could be. Ooh. Fear is no longer a factor for me, though the dance steps are really hard. Was that a wedding cake? Maybe someone who just got married? I finally found my purpose in my situation. To earn my spot in the Super Six, get ready to see a different side of my heart. Hammerhead out. Seacrest, out. Could be Ryan Seacrest. He definitely has the height for that. Good job. I like that. First of all, I'm just stunned with the physical specimen that the hammerhead is. Right? Yes. Right? He is cut. He is ripped. And I was very impressed. I thought you did a great job, Mr. Head. I just want to give it up. You had your own solo. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah. yeah, you did. And that is a TikTok dance challenge, that solo that he had. So. Yeah, it was well done. A lot of footwork. Yeah. It looked like you were having fun, yes. especially with all the women. Yeah, I, I love the energy that you bring out here every time you're out here. Yep. You have complete confidence in what it is you're doing. Makes me think of someone athletic because you move like someone who is. The moonwalk was amazing. Yes. The boy band moves were a lot of fun. Brian, were you having a boy band? Well, I had a group with Robin. Yes, yeah, so I was about to say, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had big plans. We, we just, we didn't officially launch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, now it's time to remove the voice modulation and hear his one-word clue. It's time for Word Up. Heartbreaker. 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 His voice sounds familiar. I like the hard slurred R Heart at the end of breaker. it. Heartbreaker. 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 What was that all about? I mean, last time I thought you were someone like Carrot Top because of your energy and stature. But then there was a clue. It said E. They had an eye chart, E, and that was really prominently featured E, E, E. e, e. And who is the king of E television? Yeah, you yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, your yeah, boy, yeah, Ryan yeah. Seacrest. Ah. He's got a kind of a similar stature. Yeah. There's a number one on the jersey. He's number one in television. I mean, Ryan Seacrest, you know, he's broken a lot of hearts. Back me up, Paula. It, it, there was actually a tag of his line. Yeah. Hammerhead out, Hammerhead Seacrest out. out. Yeah. Seacrest out. This has got to be Ryan Seacrest. That's a good guess, Ken. Yeah. Rob Lowe. So I noticed in the clip package that we talked about fear is not a factor. Fear factor. Oh. Someone who is really, really jacked. Could be Joe Rogan. That's a good guess. I think so also, because the last time I was getting a bunch of lifeguard vibes, and it made me think of Zac Efron. But my mind was completely changed tonight. The stand-up comedy thing. Exactly. Yeah. Last week, there was a cup of coffee that said Joe. Yeah. I think... This is Joe Rogan. It's me and you, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with Joe Rogan. Wow. I agree with you. Paula. The last package I saw, I picked up on boy band. So I definitely thought it could be Joe Jonas. And then after seeing this performance, you can move, but I think it's more recreational and fun for you. Okay. I mean, in the clue package, you said that you were depressed. Uh, did you recently get married? I love it. Paula goes from, you seem really depressed. Did you get married recently? <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, I'm just, I'm picking up on things that were said. Like, you felt like you were in a cage. And you also said you wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah. I was interested in law as a kid, but life led me down the path of entertainment. Looking back, I wish I had stuck with it. Then I could have done my own negotiations and saved that 10% lawyer fee. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, this guy's funny. He's got to be in comedy. Oh, and there was a microphone in a stand. They said uh, there was a situation. Ah, and you work out a lot. Yeah. You're mic the situation, oh. Sorrentino. Oh, huh. oh. Yeah. Paula. You were depressed because you were in jail. <laughs> Where being a lawyer would have been helpful. <laughs> oh, and I also saw a wedding cake, and I know that Mike just got married, so I definitely think this is from Jersey Shore, Mike the Situation. Guess. I like him. that guess. Could be him. But then as I'm thinking depressed marriage, I think it could be Emilio Estevez. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoever you are, you're like aces with me, pal. You're amazing. You are really fighting for a spot in the Super Six. We'll figure you out. Can any of our panels hammerhead guesses groove like this? Tell us using hashtag the Masked Dancer. I'm super athletic, but when it comes to competitions, I'm usually on the sidelines. So I love being here and fighting for a spot in the Super Six.